Oh, that looks going in. <laughs> I that's see gonna, a lump. Do you see it? That's going to be the, the thumbnail. I have a lump. Hi again. My name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing a haul. We have not done one in a couple of weeks. Just been busy. Grandbaby. Life. Just all kinds of stuff happening. It's getting ready to storm. I'm hearing it out there. So if you guys hear thunder and lightning, that's what it is. So I've got bags that have been sitting here for a while. So I'm going to try to go through them and just share with some of the stuff we've picked up. Um, and then I've got some bolos at the end. So stick around. I have to share this. This was actually from the Highway 127. And we talked about that hoarder building barn that we went to that of course I had zero footage of and yet I carried that camera all through jumping up and over piles but nevertheless but you think you figured out the why this weekend yes because you were you were clicking buttons I'm too clicking fast. buttons too fast and when I think I'm starting a video and I just look away it's just doing a quick shot and that's it so hopefully I'm gonna get back again a year and some later hopefully I'll get better but this Look, it's vintage Fisher Price. But I found these in two totally different parts of that barn. And at first I was just getting this, right? Fisher Price. And then I realized that this, when I found it, went with it. So I'm going to hang it on my wall for a little while. But look how cute. It's like a little puzzle type thing. That square thing was like in a bag up in the up attic Up in the here. attic. That he drug down for me to dig through. But I've been hanging it right here. I didn't know if you guys... No, you guys can't see it. Alright, and then let me grab stuff. Shoes. We've been picking up a lot of shoes. Because, you know what? This is my mentality on it. As far as the shoes and clothing. No matter what, if the economy is down, people got to buy shoes and clothes. So we're going to start focusing a little bit more on... Getting this stuff listed also, we have a lot that needs listed, um, but as soon as I finish this that we're going to be sharing with you this week as far as hauls, I think we're going to really focus on some of the clothing piles. Uh, I don't remember. Normally we pay what? One or two dollars. I, I got those somewhere when you weren't with me. I paid a dollar. A dollar for them. I paid a little up on these. I did pay two dollars for them. But I think I'm going to list them all together. These are the Thai Pillow Pals. Pillow Pals. They're the flat plush. I think these are from well, 1998, 1997, 1996. Oh, so they were a series. But just look how cute they are. I'm hoping, since I paid six, I'm hoping maybe $20, $25 for the three of them together. So I had this flashback. You know my brain is just kind of it's a it's a world of chaos in there you handed <laughs> me that stuff and i felt like it was some sort of reverse game show and then i had the image for whatever dumb reason of wheel of fortune mm. like when you didn't when you won money but you had to buy stuff in there like in the kitchen oh, i remember mm -hmm. i had that i don't know for whatever reason that flashed in my mind you'd say you would get to go buy stuff in the living room with your 850 dollars or whatever you won that round and Sorry. Yeah. Showing my age. Yes. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Some more plush. I'm just going to hold them. Kelly toy. Look how cute. Not Squishmallow. Probably still most of this is going to be bread and butter. And most of this was picked up at yard sales. So a dollar or less. Hug fun. I tend to buy a lot of these like knit plush. I think this is Kelly Toy, yeah. I've bought this before. Probably like $10 to $12. What would you call that? Waffle? Yeah, that's that's usually I call these like quilted or like waffle. But probably quilted would be the word I would use to describe that. But not the waffle weave. Yeah, not the waffle weave that you want to look for in some of the vintage Eden and Fisher Price. I think those are the two big ones that have the waffle weave. Again, more Kelly toy. Look how cute. That thing was even brown like a waffle. See, now mm -hmm. I'm hungry for waffles. I know I just had lunch, but now I want a waffle. This is Bedtime Originals. I think it's that. Maybe that is the brand, but it kind of reminds me of that something in Ivy. 
Lambs and ivy, but I don't think so. Crown and ivy? No. But look how cute. I think the crown and ivy is one of those uh, men's button-up shirt brands that we find all the time around here. Oh, maybe I don't know. But they, but they're only like eight bucks or something new, so don't buy them. Yeah. Hug fun. We're learning really quick. If you see a whole lot of the same brand, especially shirts, like New Direction and for women's clothes. George, we find we a find lot a of lot of, and it's, it's not that $8 is a bad sale if you're doing plush. little people or plush, but when you're doing clothes and you have to put them up there and make sure they're flat and make it's sure that time. you didn't miss a stain and then you got to flip them over and you got to do the measurements, it's just not worth it for clothes. But for plush or little people or something, it's entirely different. Yep. But we find a ton of those brands around here that are five to eight dollars in clothes and they yeah, are not no. worth the time. No. Hug fun. I just thought it was cute. It does need a bath. Look, like it's got a big old puffy belly. Looks like that rabbit you have. Oh yeah. What is this? This but yeah, Walmart it says fur bunny pink. Maybe you could do a lot. No. I don't do lots on plush very often, if you guys notice. This was 50 cents. I just pulled it off the head. I'm more, but I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but this is what's worth it. Because somebody who is missing this is going to want this. I will decide as I'm getting ready to process it, you know, if I'm going to go ahead and keep it together. It is just Velcroed on. But it is by Louis Galoob, 1989. I forget. See, it's got a weird mouth, but I forget what it's supposed to do. I'm not sure because it doesn't look battery. So maybe I'll have Robert see if he can figure out what it's for. I paid a dollar for it, but of course it's Turvis and it's Peanuts. I just thought it was adorable. Usually Turvis isn't a whole lot, but I'm hoping the peanut aspect of it will. But again, it's probably my bread and butter. Lovies, of course. Love them. This one says, I am magical. It's a unicorn. It definitely needs a bath. And it says lightning bug baby. I don't know if I've had that brand before. Probably still bread and butter. I pick these up all the time. It's Kelly toy. It's a, I call these my stroller clip on rattle plush bread and butter. And look, I love sloths. This is Spark Create Imagine. It too is a rattle. And then, I love these. This is, it has to be vintage, but I don't see a tag, but look how adorable. Just a teeny little, cover up my face, there. Teeny little Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit figure. Probably like six to ten. Well, before you take off on that, I looked up that koala mm. and it, he had a bottle. Oh, a bottle. Somebody has one for sale on eBay for $9.90. It does not come with the bib or the bottle. For $9.90? Yes. Yeah. So I'll have to decide. I gotta save the old stuff anyway. These, we picked these up yesterday, and I just wanted to go ahead and show. These are all Hollister. This is what we find. Hollister, American Eagle, Old Navy, Aeropostale, Levi's, newer, some vintage. Um, Wrangler. we Wranglers. Wranglers and Lees. Wrangler. And I'm, the video that's getting released, my last watch sold. It's actually going to come out tonight. We sell Lees you know, 12 to $15, sometimes a little bit more. So when you're only paying a dollar, which is what we paid for them, they're good and they sell and they're so easy for me to ship. Robert does all the pictures and stuff on clothing. So I just, they're already pre-packed in clear bags and I just slide them either into a, you know, a bubble mailer or, you know, the priority flat rate bubble or the cardboard flat rate envelope or a box if they're too big to fit in either one of them. Just easy peasy. We just don't find, I've watched videos about you know what brands to sell of 
clothes or men's clothes, women's. And uh, they don't often recommend buying these mall brands that we buy, but that's what we have here. Where that's we live, what we have. Like the one guy I've watched before, Thrift Life, he does, he does good videos. If you haven't watched him, he's from California. He, I think he goes to the Beverly Hills Goodwill. And so he's going to find nicer things there than we're ever going to find here. So he has in the really good brands. rural Tennessee. Yeah, out here in rural Tennessee, we're not going to find it. But what we can find is a lot of times these are two. Sometimes one. Well, it's Sometimes kind of half fill and a half. bag. Sometimes it's fill a bag. We stopped at one the other day. They wanted seven, between yeah. four and seven for those. We just pass on by those. But if you're picking this up for a dollar, jeans, especially jeans, because I... They're so much easier than shirts. They lay better. They stick better to the to the material there, and they're easy. Dollar into twelve or fifteen. I don't want to do five or eight, but into twelve or fifteen, you can do that all day long because they're simple. Yep. Puzzles. I just pick them up almost always. Usually a dollar or two dollars for them at yard sales or estate sales. Much easier, you know, we have a pile upstairs of puzzles that we're putting together to resell eventually, but these are so much easier. Much easier. Wait. And if this isn't worth very much, it will go to my mother and she would love to put this stained right. glass thing together. Yep. I think, I want to say, yeah, I paid up for this one, $6. But sometimes these older musical Christmas lights. I don't think I saw any, so I'm going to have to um, do a little bit more research on this. It says 1999 Empson, and it literally, look, it's like a wreath around a clock, and it's going to be playing different melodies on the hour, so hopefully, fingers crossed. I did take it out and make sure I think the battery area was not corroded. Even if you don't have a screwdriver with you, at least look and see if you see corrosion around the edges then don't buy because you know it's not going to work or it's going to be too much work to clean all right i bought these yesterday i guess i'm still you know doing my nurse flipper because i know she buys these quite often but look how cute aprons i think she charged me a dollar each look how adorable Oh, that. I had to buy this. I've sold this before. Don't remember how much. I think I had something else with it. But look, it's Xavier Roberts who did the Cabbage Patch dolls. He also did the fur skins um, and the Kusas, all of those. But this is like a, his original patterns to make the dolls. I just thought that was, but look what else was there. How to make a Mr. T. And it says Miss Martha's Originals. I just couldn't resist. I may go ahead and, I don't know. I may keep them together. I may split them up since they're so unique. But a doll maker might not mind buying the set. I'm hoping like $10 or so for them. Pity the fool. And then this. Oh, actually, I think... Yeah, all of this she charged me $2 for the whole pile. It wasn't a dollar each on those because it was $2 for everything. And look, vintage sheets. And a lot of times I like to buy ones that are like colorful and patterns. So I think this one's going to do really well. But it's Canon Royal Family. I'm, think, I'm hoping maybe $15 to $20 for it. Plush, more of it. This one is, yeah, Kelly Toy. I think it was at the same place I bought all these other ones. Just couldn't resist. And then this is Animal Adventure 2018. Kind of oh, a wannabe Squishmallow. Which I don't like Squishmallows. But there. Probably bread and butter still. twelve, Maybe 12 to 15. Look how cute. This is the petting zoo. It's just cuteness factor. Usually they're my bread and butter. But sometimes, as I've shown in a lot of my Watsolds, dogs and cats sometimes do a little bit better than the bread and butters. I found 
the cutest puppy yesterday. So if I ever decided that I'm going to be a pet owner again, Robert's given me the look. Because I've I've had pets in the past, but as much as we travel and like to do the things that... The way our life is, you know, we like being able just to go now. Our kids are grown for the most part. So, you know, if I decide I want to start doing more meetups, go to more of these highway sales, a pet makes things difficult. But... I found a Labradoodle puppy yesterday at a yard sale. It wasn't for sale. They had just adopted it. Ten weeks old. Y'all, it was like a teddy bear. I couldn't help it. It was adorable. You actually petted it. I petted it. I fell in love with it. It was, it was adorable. And they're hyperallergenic. Which that, means? Which means they don't shed. Some of us might not know what that means. But... Oh. But That's what the lady told me. You mentioned picking up and going to these yard sales. And we're going to try. We're going to try. On the weekend of the 7th and 8th, the Friday, Saturday of October. To, to do that to, Kentucky one. To go to the one in Kentucky that goes on the eastern side of Kentucky up highway. The highway 120. No, not 127. No, highway. It's US, 120, US 25 yard sale. I can't it's remember. It's on um, Commonwealth Pickers new site the yard, sale. Gar yard garage sale nation yeah so we might try to go do that one but it'll be a possibly a go start at wherever we're going to start go stay overnight do a little bit more and then come back but yeah if anybody's thinking about going to that one let me know and maybe we can do some kind of meetup and then the week after no either that same also that the same, same weekend, weekend. On the, so we're going to try to do that Friday and Saturday, come back here, stay home Saturday, Saturday night, and then get up and go Sunday on the 9th to Greenville, South Carolina to the Prison to prison Profit to Profits Conference. So, But this is still all in the maybes. So maybes. If, so if you're going to go to that, it looked like they had a lot of fun last year. They're going to play, mm -hmm. going to Top Golf to play golf for a couple, three hours, I think, and then eat there and then go to a thrift store. Yep. And do games. So, See if you're planning to go on that, let me know, too. You know, it might sway us. Yeah, we might want to go. So, all right. Animal Adventure 2014. Depends on who it is. If it's Beth, no. Beth. He doesn't mean it, Beth. 50 cents. Probably bread and butter. But look, Russ. I have to save. For the most part, Russ, applause. Dakin, they're all my bread and butter, but they're my favorite vintage, and I just feel the need to save them. But this one is I'm Bananas Over You. Look how cute! And it's called the Love Pets, but again, they're still my bread and butter. Okay, more shoes. Oh, wait, no, one more. Look, Nat and Jules, Dim Daco, cute little bear, but it's got the basketball belly. Bread and butter. I'm impressed that you recognize that as a basketball. Basketball. Do you remember how much we paid for these shoes? There's a whole bag of them. No, we don't usually pay much more than two or three dollars yeah, for shoes. One, one or two. We may pay up a little bit for, like these Merrells, we might have paid a little more, but it, usually it's a couple dollars, maybe three. I love Merrells. If this was my size, I would keep these just because y'all know why. Purple comfortable comfortable allegria do have some wear in the toes i just sold a pair for like 13 dollars. maybe these i'm not sure if that's going to come off if it's just mud if it's wear then i'll probably still do like 14.95 i know they can do better if they're in better condition look Ooh, I should have saved this. My last things I'm going to share with you today is mugs. But look, Chicago Bulls. Definitely vintage. It does have a holograph on the bottom. Hologram? Is that what it's called? Hologram. I think it's hologram. What's the difference? I don't know. I see it says NBA product right yeah, there on the bottom. They put that in there to uh, ward off the uh, counterfeiting. The counterfeiting. But I'm hoping that's something good because it definitely looks vintage. More advertising. Clear State Farm. It does say made in the USA on the bottom. And then Ariat. 
boots. Says, oh, made in China. Eight and a halfs. But we'll pick up these. You know, I won't spend the time to redo all of this. But somebody who wants these is going to get a really good deal and then they can do it. I'm hoping probably $20, $25. I think I've got something very similar to that listed. Which one? The, the Chicago Bulls. Okay, the Chicago Bulls. He says there's one listed for $16. And there's one listed in SG, which I'm assuming is Singapore on eBay. Oh, for, I don't know. For 30 I don't know. But we just picked up Worth Point. We just started Worth Point. So I'll definitely check Worth Point because if you only have a few comps to look at and there's not very many listed, it's a good thing to go back and look. Terra Peak and Worth Point. And Terra Peak is free. And Terra Peak is free. And it's a year back. So, you know, unless you're not finding anything on Terra Peak, you know, then, which is what happened this weekend. But I'm going to show you that in a second. Look, Lori, I thought of you. I paid up a little for these. These are, it looks, they look older. Bras, larger sizes. This one's Vanity Fair. This one's Playtex. I paid $3 each for them. I haven't done any comps on them, but I know to be looking for them. And then $2 each, I got vintage granny panties with their tags. So I'm, I think, my, I'm thinking fifteen, twenty dollars, but I'm not quite sure. I didn't really check, but I have bought some in the past. It's just been a long time. And then these were a dollar, and they're jockey, all the same, which means one listing, um, but they're nineteen ninety eight. I'm hoping at least ten dollars each and I'll probably do individual with a quantity of three but the best find same yard sale that we bought these um, the, the underwear and bras at it wasn't actually even on our list last night we did our meetup with um, trading post pickers and grin and grandma and her husband and uh, Christina Scott's wife Came, I said the, the perfect word for them. When you've got your map out and you're going to all your yard sales, if you find one that wasn't on the, the list, they're, they're, they're your bonus yard sales. And I love that term. So this was a bonus yard sale. It wasn't very far from our home and we just happened to stop. And I'm so glad we did because Robert, I went towards the garage and Robert was at this table and they had coffee mugs on the table they were on the ground. On box. the ground in a box. But they had a few. They had a few up on the table, didn't they? I remember seeing something. A couple, but they weren't anything. Yeah, they weren't. But when Robert looked in the box, it was advertising. Coffee mugs. But better yet, it was pharmaceutical coffee mugs. Which I've sold uh, Ambien for like $100. And then I had two that were, what were they? We're thinking one of them was Xanax, the other one might have been Prozac, and another one was Ambien, but there might have been another one. But both of us, our memories are shot. We're old. So, we always are on the lookout for drug, pharmaceutical, promotional, all of those words, coffee mugs. But I failed here because I didn't ask them if they had more. Yes. Because they were obviously a doctor or a pharmacist or something because they went, they had cups from a, one of them over there is like the South, Southern Medical Association or mm -hmm. something. I failed to ask if they had more. When more. I went back, they were closed up, but I'm getting a business card and I'm going back to ask. I'm just going to yes. knock on their door. So I'll show you guys the first one that wasn't pharmaceutical. I just had to have it. I love Elvis. Just love it. This is only like, we paid 50 cents each, right? Right. He's about $10. I can't find nothing like this, not even on Worth Point. 
probably I'm going to, I've never even heard of Resulin. But I'll probably list this for 50 unless I find something. Same as this. Now, there were other Mayo cups like this listed, but they were straight. Where mine is, it's like, you know, arced. So, again, I think I'm going to list this one probably for 50 or so also. And then this one, probably about the same. I found something that was Norvask, but it did not look like this. I say this a lot. I don't decide until I'm about to list. Sometimes I'll even have it in my spreadsheet that I'm going to list it for $49.95. And then at the last minute, I might bump it up. So I'm thinking that one too. And this is Lipitor. It's more common. I want to say this was what, $15 or $20? I can't Something. I think this was like $15 or $20. And I actually might have one of these listed already. But right here's our treasure. Which brings me to worth point. Oops, flip it around. I didn't really, I looked at these, but I was busy with the bras and underwear. So Robert was doing all of these. And he told me there was a Paxil mug in there that neither one, and I, I looked and he looked and I couldn't find anything on eBay in, we were on our phone so we couldn't look at Terapeak. Couldn't find anything listed or sold. So I went into Worth Point. We just got Worth Point Wednesday. Like three days. Two, yeah, two, three Wednesday days and, and this was Friday. And I put in Paxil. I hadn't seen the mug. So I said, well, there's, some on Worth Point that are white with the gold emblem. And he was like, I don't remember because he looked at quite a few mugs. So I ran into the post office. He got the box out because they were all wrapped up and had this sitting in the console area. And because one of these has sold this year, just the one, I didn't look at all the other ones. I picked the most current one, which was earlier this year, sold for $125. So, because there is none listed, and this one sold for $125 earlier this year, I will probably add about $50 onto it, list it for about $179.95, and see what happens. Because it's a nice mug. Fair. You just had to keep talking, didn't you? I did. We were almost done. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we're at 32 minutes. Why you do that to me? Because you were talking in the middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you told me to talk more. I know, but you were talking. So it's either talk dead battery. I know, dead battery. Nice mug. And you know what? You can always price high and lower your price. But if you list it low and it sells instantly, you know, which it happens to us, right? So... Thrilled with this. This is getting listed very, very quickly. What? You were going to say something. Then you, then you rudely, rudely cut me off, so I'm not talking for the rest of the day. <laughs> Fat chance of that, right? Fat chance. All right, I think we're going to do back-to-back -back videos. More treasures. Because I want to get this stuff listed. You know, I've been doing a whole lot of plush. I'm ready for a little bit something different. You guys know how that is. You get kind of doing the same thing over and over and you just need a change and that change I don't want to be closed yet but I'll do mugs and some of this other stuff and I'll be I'll be good to go back to plush this week all right bye